all right. Our next session will now explore what comes after implementing a customer data platform. Please welcome Adam Salem. He's a commercial and digital director at Dur Hospitality, as he shares Dur's journey to improving customer experience through enriched customer data. Adam has over 18 years of experience in digital sales, events, and operations areas within the hospitality industry. He has worked with iconic hospitality brands such as the Ritz-Carlton, Marriott, Kempinski, Fairmont. Welcome, Adam, and over to you. Thank you, Aziza. It's a great introduction, and thank you for uh, being part, uh, pleasure being part of uh, the session here. Um, I think we're limited with time, so I'll just jump right to okay. it and share my presentation. I think it's loading. So special thanks to Telium to giving me this uh, opportunity. That's the first thing I can say. And for all the audiences for joining today, um, I, I hope we can take out uh, useful uh, takeaways out of the session. In brief, we're talking today about what comes after implementing a customer data platform, a CDP, uh, successfully at, at your organization or business. Uh, briefly, my name is Adam. I'm the commercial and digital director at Dur Hospitality. Uh, my contact details are there. Uh, looking forward to connecting with everyone after the session, definitely, and during the session if there are any questions or answers. A brief about Dur. Uh, it's a leading hospitality uh, company in KSA, 40 years of age in the kingdom and more to come, uh, specialized and pioneer in the industry managing, developing, and operating hotels. We host a diverse portfolio of, on, of different brands, uh, some brands we own, and some we have partnered with international partnerships like Marriott and IAG. That's our core for now. We have around 30 properties in different cities in the kingdom, 14 new properties coming, and we all are looking forward to the expansion of the tourism that's coming into the kingdom and being part of this success and celebrating it together. A brief snap about our brands. Our, baby, our own homegrown brand, Macarim, is our focus area, at the customer data platform implementation, which was a great success story that we'll be sharing. The rest of the brands, of course, will uh, hopefully follow. Key figures about Dur as well, uh, we, we belong in nine cities, as we just mentioned, um, 30 properties, as we also mentioned, and 14 coming under development, around 4,000 plus keys and different residential units that we also operate within Dur. We start, we'll start maybe with the story of what was the challenge and what brought us down to uh, integrating Telium and why Telium in specific. When we first started, it was a funny story. Uh, the forum of meeting Telium, luckily, was the MarTech back then in January 2020. And back then in 2020, we all remember that at that time, we were planning a very strong year ahead. And unfortunately, we all got uh, the good news of COVID, which made us a little bit uh, go back in action and rethink what we need to do. So back then, we had a weak digital ecosystem. From the previous sessions that have uh, attended today, I think everything evolves around data, insights, and CX. So having realized this early uh, brings us to the challenge. And second point was lack, lack of data-driven organization processes, fragmented guest data between offline databases and unorganized data sets, unidentified customer behavior, generic communication with no personalization, uh, call high cost of paid media, or in other words, unmeasurable paid media, unknown return on ad spend, this was the result, and couldn't build a data-driven decision or customer-centric programs. The journey started with the solution where we have successfully put in action a data, a data transformation where a plan is set for a digital savvy brand, a technology integration, which Telium came into place along with other partners that can active, activate actually the data that we are collecting. Telium as the CDP or universal data hub helped us as McCarran Hotels become the master for our own data proudly 
open to us a third dimension and digital perspective to look at our customers, Telium being at the heart or the center of our focus across channels and across communications with our customers. Moving on, the journey that we have achieved successfully is we are able or capable of measuring every touch point revenue impact. We have seen a 20% example. 20, we were able to measure 20% customer retention, and we were able to have an uplift in revenue year over year, about 62%, 72% earlier lead time, another 10% reduction in paid media, paid media waste. Having said all this, the, the, the real recipe of this is you having your own data layer ready means you can activate your campaigns quicker and more efficient, giving up 25%, this is how we measured it, 25% faster activation of campaigns and channels and, cha and communications. Moment-based communication and integration is basically you understand where you talk to your customer at what time at the at the best communication channel that he prefers. We developed as well a center of excellence around Telium and our brands as well to communicate with our customers at the right time, at the right channel, at let's say the minimal cost. One other secret recipe within the journey we discovered is because of the power of having your own CDP, your own first party data, you would activate your channels or your paid media in specific with lookalike audiences. For example, Facebook offers a full funnel view across with the connectors with Telium. This doesn't only mean that you look at the funnel, but you also analyze and understand which uh, customer or which ad or which communication you have published out and what was the impact on every stage, whether it's awareness, intent, or consideration or a purchase. We successfully have identified 25 audiences sitting in our database, activating day by day, hour by hour as we speak on different communications, whether it's omni-channel or whether it's paid media or offline as well. Moving on, what's next? What's next is the interesting part. It always involves Telium challenges you to make a better use of your own data. Accordingly, what we're implementing very soon, and of course, with the help of the technical teams across and the digital team in the organization, is to implement an attribution scoring method model for your channels, understanding what channel brings you best uh, ROI in simple words, or what has the impact on what level of the customer interaction with your brand or website. Having analytics in Telium, it's, it can act not only to analyze your customer data interaction, but it can also act as your data warehouse, where you can bring in all your other data parties into one analytics platform, and then you give it back to your data warehouse to have a holistic view over your analytics and interactions from a customer CX perspective or from a web interaction perspective or application, etc. Physically interacting with customers is an interesting part where you don't only inter interact with your customer on a digital perspective with a message or so on, but imagine yourself looking at a physical interaction when your customer, for example, or guest walks into your hotel and he logs into your Wi-Fi, it's triggered into your system. You can also trigger different communication and wow the customer with your experience. And another point, which is an always on point, Attest the website or your own platforms. It's an always on development. This is where you implement or have more uh, forms and interactions on your website with your customer to make his uh, customer, his experience on your website more seamless and interesting or uh, to his point. Testing and, and making new media channels, actually because of your media uh, spending uh, savings or let's say less wastage, you are able to test more channels and this eagerness or this action gives you the eagerness to test more. Soon enough, we'll implement our content management deployment, which is an ever going uh, discussion or topic, hot topic around with cookies and all the GDPR and CPRA. So accordingly, content management is almost two clicks or three clicks away to implement with Tini. Having the word marketing automation, it's a big word, but it means simply you automate 
your marketing actions using the right CX, the right flow to your customers. Having CRM is, we have two views of our CRM. Maybe it's the case for everyone else. It's a B2C and B2B and how you bridge between them. How you bridge between them is here where your customer data hub, all your data sits in one place and you can create, you, you can kill the silos between any CRM by having this cross or this bridge by your B2C customer overlapping or matching with your B2B customer and having one centric view of your customer across different uh, segmentations. Last but not least, the beauty of having such a powerful platform within your organization enables you to have predictive analysis, take it to the next level of the future, having machine learning, testing on every level, asking the machine to evaluate your own data and give you the best action out of it or the best recommendation out of it for a better uh, result or activation. That was it for me. Thank you very much. Uh, over to enable Aziza. Thank you so much, Adam. Thank you for this brilliant session. And your presentation really highlighted some important pointers on first party data strategy and how it enables building brand loyalty, retention, and uplifting e-commerce revenue. Thanks again. Thank and you, Aziza. Now, Thank you. 